Namaskaram everyone. Welcome back to the 26th episode of our Master Unreal series. In this episode, we are going to work on how to equip a gun in the character's hand precisely, be it your SKM Mini or Quinn or it could be your custom character. So we will design the mechanism and the skeletal controls. So no matter what character you are having, it could be SKM Mini, Quinn or your own character, the size can be small or big as long as they are rigged with the UE5 mannequin everything will be absolutely fine. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so we are in our editor now. Let's open the third person character. So this is what we did last time. We were able to toggle between the rifle and the pistol animation layer. So now we need to attach the weapon so that we can monitor whether we are holding the weapon properly or not. So for this, I'll add a scene component and I'll name it equipped item. In this, I will add skeletal mesh and i'll name it item or we can just rename it to equipment and this one to equipped item for now we will just directly place the rifle okay now to equip this skeletal mesh of rifle into our hands we will click on the mesh we'll double click on this sk many skeleton that we have here find the weapon R bone you can also search for this then you right click and add a socket and you name it weapon socket so if you are equipping any kind of weapon specifically then you have to use this socket and we save this we go back here in the viewport you'll find your gun lying around so for this i'm going to pick the equipment and i'll change this to weapon socket okay and first of all let's get this camera and rotate it by 180 degrees and now if you play you can see the weapon is in your hand but it is lying horizontally so we just reverse the socket uh, rotation by minus 90 degrees once you do that you can save and all the items will be rotated like this now if you press t you can see it is holding the gun perfectly. So this works fine if you are using the SK Mannequin Mesh like Manny or Quinn. But if you place your own character, then you will not be able to hold the gun with this precision. Because everything is configured for this mesh and the SK Mannequin Skeleton. So I highly suggest you use the SK Mannequin Skeleton. And now when it comes to the mesh, let's change this to our character. And now if I play and if I press T, so as you can see, my right and left hand is not placed correctly. So this is the issue that we need to fix. So go in the ABP locomotion layer space and in the skeletal controls, we are going to add some nodes. So first is the hand IK retargeting. So this node will help us to make sure that the character's hand are placed exactly where we want it to be. Okay because our characters can be small, big, but all the characters should use the SK Mannequin Skeleton so that you don't have to retarget your animations and all that for each character that you are going to build on your own. So you have to make sure your character mesh is compatible with SK Mannequin Rig. Okay, once you are done, we can go in the hand I get retargeting and here we will add the right hand that is the and R, forward kinematic bone, then we have hand left, then we will use IK hand right, IK hand R. So IK means inverse kinematics and IK bones allow you to move the joints or bones within some constraints. Let me tell you what this IK stuff does exactly. So this is an IK bone, left hand IK. If I move it, you can see my elbow, my upper arm, my lower arm, and the shoulder bone is moving with it as well. So the IK bones is like a bone that has a driver attached to it. And that driver is nothing but a formula that calculates and considers certain bones position rotation. And then it adjusts the other bones that is configured in that particular driver. Okay. So the IK bones allow you to move the joints or multiple bones without interacting with them individually. So you just move them and the driver will take care how much rotation should be given to elbow. If it reaches to a certain threshold, then we need to rotate the shoulder and that's how it works out. So we are going to play with that only. 
And the IK bone that we need to move is the IK and gun. So this is a IK bone that is present in the skeleton. You can find that in the SK mannequin there is a IK handgun present. Okay. So we are going to move that and the per axis alpha should be 1 and when it comes to weight we will set it to 1 completely and the alpha we are going to pick it from animation curve and the curve name will be disable hand ik retargeting and the scale would be minus 1 and the bias will be 1 so whatever value comes from 1 minus curve value will be the alpha that hand ik retargeting is going to use and after this we are going to add a node called two bone ik so this two bone IK will allow us to bend our elbow and move the shoulder a little bit so that our hand reaches to the grip naturally. So let's configure. You will understand on the fly. So first we select this and the IK bone is the hand R. First we go for right hand. Here this IK bone represents the name of the bone that you want to control. Okay, so we want to control the hand R. You can see in the hand R we are having this weapon R bone and in this we have the sockets so we want this to control so let's go to locomotion layer space now we want to allow twisting and the effectors location space would be the bone space and the target bone would be our IK hand R and then we are going to select the bone space for joint target and we are going to search for lower arm right now compile and let's give it the joint location y50 and let's duplicate this and do the same for left hand bone we'll change this to hand l and the ik would be the left hand ik and this would be lower and in this time in the left hand case we want to take the rotation from the effector space at this moment we want the full force so let the alpha be 1 and now in the skm mini we are going to go inside our weapon r and we are going to add a virtual bone that will mimic the behavior of the left hand ik bone so i'll search for ik hand left you can rename it to ik hand left weapon space okay save it don't forget you have to do this in the sk mini now if we go to locomotion layer space we can create a copy bone node that will change the location and rotation of this virtual bone so vb and the target bone that we are going to copy is the ik hand left so that's the reason we named it ik hand left virtual bone and we want to copy the translation and rotation all this should be done in the component space and the left hand ik would be minus 15 y okay now if i try to hold my gun you can see it is perfectly in my hand but this pose is not good so we will fix this by adjusting the alpha in runtime so i'll go and we'll create an ik left alpha this would be of type float and we are going to add another variable let's copy this paste it here and let's change this to right we'll create a function that will update the skeletal control data so first it is up to your animations whether you want to disable the hand ik or not so if that is not the case then there is no point of putting the alphas so i'll first bring it here and i'll do a select float it is completely demand of your animations so if you are disabling the hand ik it would return zero otherwise one and that's what we are going to subtract from the curve value so if you disable it then we are going to use disable our hand ik remember the text is case sensitive so type exactly what i have typed so this is the curve name we will use the values from this curve if you disable the hand ik and we would like to clamp this between 0 to 1 you can do the same for your left hand so just replace the r with l and pass this value here and then we are going to set it so this is the right alpha this is the left alpha so first take in the right then we take left this is the right so this one goes here this one goes here update it and make it 
thread safe and now we can call this in the blueprint thread safe update function let's put it here compile then we go back to our skeletal controls and here we will bind the alpha so this one would be and ik right alpha and this would be and ik left alpha okay and let's also use the curve value because the leg ik curve we are using it in the jump you can see we are using this disable leg ik curve in this animation so just like this certain animation curves would want your IKs to be disabled in certain situations so jumping is one of them so for this in the leg IK we will do the same thing we will change this to animation curve value and use disable leg IK and the scale would be minus one and the bias would be one you already have the settings configured so let's hit compile okay and in the BP third person character under the equip item you can change the rifle to pistol and if you play again and press G because G is for pistol layer, you can see there is an issue. My hand is going backwards and that is happening because of that 45 degree aiming. So open the aim offset pistol idle ADS that we created. Delete these two. That is the ADS AOC D45. Now if you save them and play again, press G, you can see my hand is not going back and it is aiming perfectly up down left right back turn in place is working absolutely fine now one thing i want to tell you that do you see in the unarmed situation my posture is weird because of the retargeting mechanism that we placed in the skeletal controls now we want that to work only if we have equipped something and for this episode i'm just going to create a variable in the abp base and here I'll say weapon equipped item equipped. So if it is set to true, then only we would like to apply the hen IK. And we are going to go inside the locomotion layer space. And here before setting it, we will check property access and we should use get main animation BP thread. And we will check if the item is equipped. So if any item is equipped, then in that case some animation layer has been loaded it could be pistol rifle or anything and in that case only we would like to set the alphas otherwise not so now if i save and when i'm picking up the gun i can use the animation instance and set item equipped to true and back to false and just mimic this twice and do the same for rifle and pistol if i play now it's fine if i do and pick a gun okay and now we can go back to our bp third person character viewport and we can set our camera back to zero zero play again and here you go okay so that's it for this episode again this episode was meant to show you how to hold the weapon correctly for both the cases if you are having your own character mesh or if you are having the skm mini if you do both it works perfectly fine in the next episode we are going to have our own equipment system where we are going to manage the equipped items and we will create sockets to hold these guns the way we are updating the item equip status we will do it with the gameplay tags not like this so everything will be optimized so stay tuned like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel do join our discord server where you can ask all your questions you can get the future updates in advance and if you have any questions comments or feedback feel free to post them in the comment section and in the next episode we will begin our equipment system so stay tuned i'll see you in the next episode bye